Britney Spears employee calls the police, Noah Beck defends James Charles, and the BBC exposes OnlyFans, which leads to their business model crumbling. Yes, that's right, folks, we've got ourselves a triple header news story for you all today. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. So first things first, let's talk about how a BBC investigation may have just ruined OnlyFans. The BBC is actually claiming responsibility for the new controversial OnlyFans adult content ban. OnlyFans was started back in 2016, but it really started to take off during the pandemic. At first, it was a way for people in the adult entertainment industry to have control over their own content, but during the pandemic, many sex workers also found the site to be a safer way of making money. However, OnlyFans didn't want to be known for just that, so we began to see other creators using the platform as a new subscription style service for their content. Some people did paid access to yoga classes while others used it for releasing new music, but now those types of videos may be the only thing allowed on the platform. Back in May, the BBC did an investigation into the London-based company and found that there were not enough barriers to entry that would prevent people from under 18 from selling and appearing in explicit videos on the platform. Moderators for OnlyFans also told the BBC that while those attempts by underage users were rare, they did often see a lot of videos that broke their terms of service in other ways, from bestiality to a man that had people paying to watch him eat feces. However, leaked documents exposed them for apparently pushing something called a compliance manual. Reportedly, this manual asked staff members to be more tolerant of their top creators, even if they had posted banned content. Reacting to the news of them deciding to ban explicit content, Ross O'Donovan tweeted, Wait, so OnlyFans is allegedly getting rid of sex workers so investors can have a safe investment in a website that nobody will use anymore. Huh. Now apparently, and I know this will sound confusing, but apparently nudity is still allowed, but any content containing sexually explicit content will be prohibited, which is pretty much all of OnlyFans right now. It's spokesperson for the company said in a statement, In order to ensure the long-term sustainability of the platform and to continue to host an inclusive community of creators and fans, we must evolve our content guidelines. This new way of conducting themselves, though, will come into effect in October, but many people are still calling it an infringement on freedom. So we'll see how long OnlyFans can stay afloat as everyone jumps ship. Now in other news, let's talk about Noah Beck defending James Charles. TikToker Noah Beck is saying that if you want James Charles cancelled, then you must be closed-minded. For those of you who don't know, YouTuber James Charles has been caught up in a ton of controversy for pretty much all of his career. Starting with his feud with Taddy Westbrook where she accused him of manipulating men's sexualities and ending with him being accused of messaging underage fans. That last one though was the nail in the coffin for most. YouTube demonetized his channel and he was dropped by Morph, but Noah Beck believes that he is due for a comeback. While speaking with GQ Magazine about his friendship with James, Noah said, As much as I want to be open about the situation, there's not much I can say because people are so close-minded. I haven't spoken with James about it, I haven't been like, yo, did you do it? I'm not going to do that. Well, Noah, you don't really need to ask him if he did it because he already admitted to doing it right when the accusation started. He even said that he was going to start checking IDs because he prefers younger men. Even still, Noah is claiming that he knows James in real life and is confident that it's just a matter of time before he's back because no one ever gets cancelled. Well, no, people do get cancelled and don't come back. I, I'm thinking this is just coming from Noah not wanting to believe that his friend would do these things and thus how could he be cancelled. You know, you can be talented and still be an awful human being. James Charles admitted to messaging people under 18 on his own channel and there are still people defending him. It just blows my mind. But in our last bit of news, let's talk about why one of Britney Spears employees just called the police on her. According to reports, Britney is under investigation right now for misdemeanor battery after she allegedly hit one of her employees during an argument at home. Eric Westchow, an officer with the Ventura County Sheriff's Office, confirmed that one of Britney's employees called them to report this incident, which then prompted deputies to open an investigation. The officer said that the staff member worked as a housekeeper for Miss Spears and told the police that the altercation happened after she took one of the singer's dogs to the vet. According to the employee, there were issues with how the pet was treated and that Britney decided to confront them upon their return. The source goes on to allege that they argued about the dog's wellness before Britney decided to slap the housekeeper's phone out of her hands. The police also said that they tried to speak with Britney to hear her side of the story but that she refused to talk about it. However, her lawyer Matthew Rosengard spoke up on her behalf and called the accusation sensational tabloid fodder. In a statement, he said that it was nothing more than a manufactured story. He claims that Britney never hit anyone and that the lack of injuries whatsoever should result in the investigation being stopped. To their credit though, the sheriff's office themselves did already acknowledge that this incident was indeed a very minor misdemeanor and confirmed that there were no injuries. Rosengard also made a very valid point and said that if Britney's name were not involved in this scenario, this incident would have never even been reported. To me personally, this is just another attempt by Jamie Spears to show the court that he still needs to be in charge of his daughter's life. If you recall, we learned just recently that Jamie had spies all over Britney's home who would report back on anything and everything that she did. So wouldn't it be in his financial interest to pay off an employee to force an altercation? 
so that the police could now get involved in Britney's life again. I don't want to assume too many things here, but it all seems too familiar to just accept it as truth. Even if this incident actually took place and Jamie had no involvement, this never would have been reported. Let's not forget that Britney isn't quite free just yet. Her conservatorship has simply been in the process of being transferred from her father to a CPA, but it's still not even clear when that switch will even take place. So everything we hear about Britney right now needs to be taken with a grain of salt. But either way, I would love to hear your thoughts on all this, so don't forget to drop us a comment down below. And while you do that, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Influencer Dark Secrets Exposed. The Random Geek 85 says, Johnny asked me to tap like, I'm powerless, I must tap like, Johnny the Overlord demands it, his will is my command. Thank you so much, I, ver I, I appreciate that a lot. I don't know what else I was going to say there, but I appreciate you hit that like button. I'm not your overlord, but I appreciate it. Melody says, when Johnny says, please tap that like button, my fingers be like, can't control myself, have to tap that like button no matter what. <laughs> you guys are really going in on this like button comment. Mark Fletch says, I'm back after a long time away and content is still amazing. Thank you so much, Mark. We really appreciate that. Justin Dayhan says, bet you won't add this comment to your next video. Hmm, there it is. Arthur Tapia says, how do you throw a party in space? You plan it. I swear, I swear, you guys should all be comedians. This is this is quality content right here. But guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try.